How to use Klaviyo email marketing with Shopify. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll be talking about how to connect your Klaviyo with your Shopify and how to get started using both. Um, so if you want to have email marketing using Klaviyo, you can actually go ahead and connect it to your Shopify store. And this way, uh, things can actually be, you know, connected and you have more integrations, which could make things a lot easier for you. Uh, for your entire business so you can just first start by going to clavio.com obviously would want to have an, a shopify account i don't really need to say that but you must have a shopify account uh, but you want to go to clavio.com and sign up uh, now obviously you would uh, want to create your account here so make sure you go ahead and go through these steps to create your account i'm just going to fill these in and get back to you once I have my account ready to go. Okay, great. So once you create your Clayview account, or once you actually have your Clayview account ready to go, uh, now they will obviously ask you when you're signing up, they will ask you a lot of questions, including which platform you want to sell on. And if you specify Shopify, they will already ask you to add the link to your Shopify store. But if you did not do that, you can also find it from here. And if you don't find it from here, then, then you will need to go ahead and follow the um, other steps, which I will do either from here. You can also do it from here uh, or you can actually go ahead and do it from your Shopify store, which I prefer to do it this way. So to connect the two, uh, just head on to Shopify store. There are multiple ways, but I'm just going to use this one. Head on over to your Shopify store, and then from here, you will need to go to your apps, click on add apps. Uh, and then from here, you just go to the Shopify app store. And then we would want to look for Clavio. Now, most of the time, you should find it within the popular stores, uh, popular apps, I mean. Uh, like this time, I can actually see it from here. But if you don't, just a simple search will allow you to find it easily. But just go ahead and find it, click on it, and then you'll be able to just, you know, look through it, see if you uh, wanted to see the, uh, the rest of the plans that they has, have to offer and all of those things. And then afterwards, you can just click on install. Uh, and this way, we will be able to actually uh, link the two. So we just click on install again, confirm the installation. We can actually exit out of this. We don't really need it. And now we can just click on integrate. And now we will need to actually integrate uh, the, the two. It should be done. Now we can actually go ahead. Th this should be done. I don't know why it says, okay, there you go. So it is. it has been updated. So we can now see that the two are actually connected now. Um, and you should also have, uh, if we just refresh from Shopify, we should also have the app ready to go from Shopify, which will make it easier for you to actually go to Clavio. Now, once you open up your Clavio, here you would obviously need to set up a few things. Now, the first thing is the tracking, the on-site on tracking. You will actually need to go ahead uh, and enable it from Shopify. So you will need to go to your Shopify settings and customize your store. And then from there, you will need to go ahead and enable the embed. So let me actually just take you through the steps. Uh, just go back to your Shopify store, uh, open up online store themes, and then click on customize. And then from here, we will need to, once it loads in, we will need to click on the left side of the panel, app embeds. Click on that, and then we will should, or you should be able to find Clavio. You can search for it as well, but it should show up. Now, what you need to do is just uh, make sure you enable the app embed. There you go. It's a lot, it's, it's very annoying, it's very invisible, but it should be right next to the name. So just click right next to the name, and you should have this turned on. Once this is turned on, then the tracking should be available now. Uh, just make sure you actually go ahead and click on save and this step is done we can just go ahead and exit out of here this should be pretty much done if we just restart 
it should say that now the Clavier app embed is enabled on your Shopify store. So this is for the on-site tracking. This is going to be for the connection details. And then we have these sync settings. So from Shopify, sync data from Shopify, you can en enable this. And you would want to select a list of subscribers uh, or contacts. So just click on select list. Email list, if you want to create another list, then that would be a different story. But just go ahead and select a list from the ones available. And this will allow you to obviously sync data from Shopify. If you want to sync to Shopify, then you can go to these options here as well. So now you can read here, uh, the new site visitors that subscribe from Shopify will be basically automatically subscribed to your Klaviyo list. So this is how it now is going to work between the two. Here you can view the most recent data, like checkout started, placed order, ordered uh, product, fulfilled order, and so much more you can see from here. Uh, and you can see the sync progress and so much more. Now we can go to the other option, which is going to be to Shopify. And then here we will see sync data to Shopify. So sync profiles, profile data and custom properties from Klaviyo to Shopify. And you can specify with, whether you want it to sync all profiles or profiles that already exist in Shopify. I'm just going to leave it as all profiles. And then from here, you will also need to specify the type of data you want to actually move over to Shopify. Now, this is not going to delete anything, so do not worry. Like it says here, Klaviyo will not overwrite any existing values in Shopify. Select the ones that you want, so you can actually select these as well if you want to. And we can actually just scroll down now. So uh, make sure you click on update settings, always. Uh, and then here you can also select the custom properties to sync to, uh, to Shopify if you want to. Let me just exit out of here. Uh, and let's just go back to where we were. And again, after you set, if you want to set this up, uh, again, just make sure you update the settings. Uh, and then here is just going to show you again the recent um, data and uh, more stuff like sync progress and stuff. Now, pretty much you would want to use Clayview the way you already know how to use it and Shopify as well. But now you know that um, the data between the two is going to be actually interconnected, meaning if you have subscribers on one side, it's going to be shared between the two. Uh, so whether it's from Shopify to Clayview or from Clayview to Shopify. And now you can just feel free to go ahead and start your campaigns create your campaigns if you didn't already do that you can go ahead and uh, obviously import uh, your audience and make sure you have all of these set up the content the analytics all of those things are now interconnected so whatever you do here is going to be uh, moved over to here and so on so if you want to create your campaign just go to campaigns just go through the steps and we can just go ahead and create a sample campaign and click on if you have any tags if you want to you can just click on continue whether you want it to be on email or sms we're just going to leave it as email and go ahead and do that now i'm not going to really go into much detail here now obviously um this video is not really about how to use clavio properly uh, it's more like how to actually go ahead and uh, connect the two. So once you actually do what I just showed you how to do it, you are pretty much set. Uh, and again, I keep saying this, that the content that you have or the subscriptions that you have from Clavio are going to be with in Shopify. And the opposite is also true. Also, if you go to the homepage, you can see um, some information about um, what you have in your Shopify, like the actual campaigns, the orders placed and more stuff in here. So a lot of data is going to be shared between the two and you can actually view the data for your Shopify in Klaviyo, which is great. Now to check if your integrations are working, just click on your profile, click on integrations and you should find Shopify as, um, uh, as listed in here and is enabled. Uh, and you can always just go exit out of here and go to your Shopify store apps and you should be able to see Klaviyo email marketing and so on. So after you connect them, just feel free to go ahead, go crazy, go create your campaigns, go ahead and um, create your forms from here. If you want to create your sign up forms, go ahead and click on get started, create your forms, create your campaigns, 
uh, make sure the lists are all set up and you are pretty much good to go. This is how to basically use Klaviyo with your Shopify and have both information shared across the two platforms. So I hope this video was helpful to you and uh, you found it to be uh, benefiting and you liked it. And this is pretty much all I have for you today. And thanks for watching.